This is episode number 124 of the Homeowner Show. Whether you're DIY or looking to hire, we're here to help you find the best information and options for you and your home. My name is Kevin Hackett, and here with me is Craig William. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Homeowner Show. We're glad that you could be with us live. Live. If you're, if you're joining us live on the on the Facebooks. That's right. Or the uh, what, what Twitch. It? We're on Twitch We're as well. We're on Twitch right now. Yep. So that that's a new one. Um, Hopefully, we'll be on LinkedIn maybe next time. Maybe, and I I don't know if we can just you know resist being some sort of offensive. <laughs> we won't get the boot. Yeah. Like the the great purge of twenty one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's probably gonna happen it, sooner it, or later. You know, I can't not say things. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so, well. so that that's well. And, and speaking of saying things, Kevin. Yeah. Big announcement. Okay. Huge. It's huge. Huge. <laughs> it's huge. Okay. It's bigger than any announcement you ever heard. <laughs> no, like we we have officially arrived as a podcast. I feel. Okay. Because we got our first hate mail. <laughs> <laughs> you you. You told me about this. this it was but. the most delicious <laughs> update I've ever gotten in my life. I loved it. So we so, got a, we got a one star review. Okay. On the uh, <clears throat> on the Apple Podcast. Okay. So we haven't gotten kicked off there yet either. So working on that yet. Yeah, yeah. Give us give us time. That's right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna share with everyone the review, which is ironic considering the episode today. Um, so this oh. is so one. This bag hangs out and the anonymity of his username, which is J22792. We see you out there, buddy. <laughs> his one star review. The title of the review is Ryobi. Okay. Not 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 to be confused with Ryobi. Yeah. <laughs> his review is this. It's Shakespeare. Okay. Is trash and shouldn't be pushed as a product. Oh, so so <laughs> So so he he took his title uh-huh. and then worked right mashed into, it into the sentence into the whole sentence yeah. of the actual review. That's that's classic. Well, well it, either that or he's referring to himself <laughs> because I'm like technically his username is J two two seven nine two and then it says is trash. Oh okay. So maybe he's trash. Maybe. <laughs> It's and possible. he's a male prostitute. Yep. <laughs> Anything is possible these days. I'm not gonna. Which I, I mean, completely agree with him. He should not be pushed as a product. No, he's a person. That's right. People aren't products. People matter. Darn you, J twenty two seven nine two. Whoever told you you were a product? Hey, if you have a one star review to leave us, please leave it. <laughs> We're, we won't we won't publicly shame every single one of them. I will, but okay. Well, Craig will, but I we uh, we won't we we we, we but <laughs> we want your reviews. Yeah, I mean it actually helps us. Also, we got one from Jet Four Two One, who I mean that's that's a more complete name than yeah. the last. But thank you, Jet Four Two One. He gave us the full five. Says oh, nice. great show, great podcast. That is informative and helps me as a homeowner. Nice. You get it, Jet. Yeah. Thanks, dude. So. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well. That's the show. That's it. All right, guys. <laughs> Glad you joined us on today's episode. Uh, number 124 was a blast. It was a, it was a doozy. <laughs> That's right. So, no, we're going to. So, right, I'm going to do it. Yeah. I know. We, we need to make, like, of an official decision as to which way we're going to go on this, Kev. Well, I, I think. I, Okay, so, so if we say it the right the, way, no one's going to know what we're talking about. No, that's true. I mean, because you've got the customer satisfied way, uh-huh. right? the way that everybody, including the employees at Home Depot, yeah. say it. Um, which I've even said, heard them in their own videos uh-huh. call it Ryobi. Here, here's a compromise. I got it. Okay, the tool formerly known as Ryobi. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, we we can. We're, we're getting into to really technical yes. territory here. Yeah. So, so anyway, here's here's what we're gonna do. 
The tool, formerly known as Ryobi, dropped a new backpack sprayer months after we reviewed the last one. Right. So, uh, so I had to go get it. Sure. We we had to get as soon as it dropped. I was like, got to check this out. Yeah. See how it works. Uh, so I've actually been test driving this thing for about two weeks now. Okay. I don't know. Can can they see the box over my shoulder? Um, Do I need to like lean out of the shot? No, they can see. No, you're leaning the wrong way. They, they, but, that way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they they can kind of see the box. All right. Let me hang on. That one. That's it. That's it. They can see it. Yep. I know they can't hear me, but that's all right. No, that's that's it. So okay. So so this is the new, in their minds, improved, updated version of the other backpack sprayer, which I also have, which you also have. Yeah. Okay. So and and also if you're if you're really interested in like a side by side comparison, I'm going to be dropping a YouTube video on our channel. So go over there and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss that. Yeah. Um. So you can kind of see you can see them side by side and see what the differences are. Uh. Not sure exactly what day that's dropping, but you don't need to know because you're going to go hit the, the subscribe button and yeah. the notification bell. And that way it's just going to come to you automatically. You, you won't have to no. know. There's no anticipation. You're just, oh, it's now. There you go. So the YouTubes will let you know. So so let me ask a question before we even get into this. Ask. Is the other one still available? Not that I've seen. Okay. And I've... And, and, and we can discuss some of that as the show progresses because that will become more clear. Because I did go to look. Okay, well, I... So I just Googled um, and pulled up on their website mm-hmm. one that looks like the old one. Right. And I, I but, don't even know if they've switched it on the website for okay. like Home Depot. Okay. I think if you pull up uh, 18 volt uh, backpack sprayer. Yeah. It's still going to have the picture of the old one. Okay. I think. Um, well, no, I mean, I know that was true when I went to go get it. So like I actually didn't know that this was happening. Okay. I didn't know that the tool formerly known as Ryobi <laughs> was putting out a new model. I needed another one. Okay. And so I just Googled, you know, hey, which or actually I went on Home Depot's uh app and I was looking to see which one nearest me had some in stock. And when I showed up, it th- that's all they had was the new one. And I was like, oh, there's a new one. So what, what, what's going on? What yeah, you, I was what, just looking. So I you, I, I, I stood up and over. looked. The, the one on the Ryobi website is not even correct. Oh, really? The, the, this thing is new. Guys, we are bringing you hot off the, you know, the, what is that, conveyor belt? What is that called? Hot off the, the press. Assembly, the assembly line. The assembly line? That's the one. Okay. Um, Could be from the 3D printer. <laughs> It's true. We don't know how they're created. I don't know. All right. Well, let's talk about it. I'm I'm curious. What? Okay. So you there were some things about the other one uh-huh. that you liked. Yes. I mean, obviously, you liked it well enough to purchase it and use it and continue to use it. And now you've used this one. Mm-hmm. What are some things that you really like about this new one? The thing. Okay. So. Um, right off the bat, it's more powerful. Okay. It's got a much more powerful um, motor on it hmm. than, the, than the previous one. It's, it's the same battery. Right. Um, well, it, because any of their batteries are going to work with this, right? Well, any of the 18-volt batteries. Right. It's not on the 40-volt system. Right. Which, I mean, like, honestly, if you're going to make, like, a big upgrade to it, that would be it. Sure. It's going over to the bigger battery. But sure. those things are heavier. It would probably require a bigger motor. It should be a bulkier backpack. Yeah. Um, so are we doing things I like about this one? Yeah. 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 Okay. So so the, the motor is more powerful. On the previous one, it was on or off. Okay. So this one is very similar to the Milwaukee in that you have an attenuator on the side that you can adjust the pressure. Okay. That the one okay, before you got into an electric one, mm-hmm. you were using it was the steel? Steel. Okay, yeah. So so that one's it's a hand pump, yep. right? But you had a lot of adjustment on it, right? Well, I could just based off how I pumped it. Uh, okay, so this well, one basically gives you a dialed in amount yes. rather than having to pump. It gives you an Correct. Op- where the other one didn't. Yes. Okay. Well, and you know, on the steel, you could adjust the tip. 
as well. Okay. So it has to how your stream came out, which you can do on this one as well. Okay. Um, could, you, could you do that on on the old one? You could. This one's better. Okay. Um, so on the. I don't want, I don't, it may be weird to get into comparisons right now, but anyway, I'll, I'll continue to go through the things that I like about it. Right. It's a smaller footprint of a backpack. It takes up a lot less space. Okay. Um, which is good because the other one, you couldn't, because of the way it was shaped, it wouldn't sit right in the back of a truck the way that our trucks are set up. And it was just kind of awkwardly shaped. This one is pretty much just like straight up and down. There's no odds sticking out. Or anything like that. Yeah, so I'm looking at the old one online, and the battery protruded from yes. the uh, from the actual tank, and the new one is more streamlined. Right. Okay. And, and the, the battery encasement is a huge, massive improvement from the previous model. Okay. How so? Um, well, the old one, like you said, the the, the case kind of stuck out mm-hmm. some, and because of that, the hinge on it was just really badly designed and that thing just constantly pops off mm. and i don't really know that it has much utility other than if you leave it in the back of your truck someone may or may not know whether or not the, there's a battery in there to steal mm. um which if you don't know i mean like that's the most expensive part on the tool is sure. the battery sure um uh so so it's a smaller footprint, the battery case on this one is at the bottom of the tank, and it actually goes inside of it. Okay. Um, and then it just has like a little flap door that comes up and down, and it kind of snaps into place. Whereas the other one, it was odd to even like undo. It had a weird handle on it. It constantly popped off the hinge. I've been using this one for two weeks, and it's it's kind of like a doggy door. Mm. That's- yeah, so, so the old one, the old one was like encased a little bit where this one actually almost fits into the, it does the fit into one. it. I mean, yeah. like it's okay. There's, there's probably not a better way to describe it other than that. It's like inside the, it's inside and underneath the chemical tank. Okay. And the chemical tank still holds as much as the old one, even though it's a different shape, which is four gallons. Four right? gallons. Yeah. Okay. Is that, is that enough? I mean, oh yeah. It, okay. Yeah, I mean, well, and like it would be really un. They make some that are bigger than that, um, but they're for like really, really big commercial jobs, and they're usually on like motorized backpacks. Okay, um, which we have some of those as well. Okay, um, and th- these are just much lighter, easier to use. Um, I will say the batteries don't last as long on this one. Mm. Um, it's the same, even if you're using the same battery and it, like, I think that's going to be the big trade off and that because you have a more powerful motor mm. on this one than you did, it's just going to be pulling more. That makes sense. Um, and, and this one is not a brushless motor, is it? It is not. Okay. No. And, and just, just so we let people know, because I think this is something, um, that is important to understand. I, I don't think a lot of people know what brushless means. So brushless basically means that the tool is smart. Right. And, and what it's smart with is it knows how much power you need mm-hmm. and and how much torque you need in order to get the job done that you are doing. So it it saves battery life. If you're if you're just you know screwing a a screw into a a piece of wood that's already pre drilled. That's easy, right? So it's not right. going to use as much battery power as if it's also having to drill that screw in. Mm-hmm. It would it would then apply more power. The non brushless motors, it per, it puts out the same amount of power, the same amount of torque every single time you pull the trigger. So so it's not a brushless motor, which makes sense if it's more powerful that it would draw more. From right. the battery, exactly. Okay, and what batteries do you use? I'm just curious. Um, well. It it actually comes with a two amp hour battery. Okay. Um, All right. So, uh, yeah, and it, and that's sufficient to probably, I, I would say it'll it'll last you twenty five maybe thirty gallons. Okay. Wow. Um, that's actually not bad. And then I I test drove it for the last three days with a four amp hour battery. Oh. Um, and I I think I probably got through about fifty gallons of material with the four amp hour battery. Okay. So, but you can, 
you can definitely tell when the battery's getting close to being done. You'll, okay. I mean, you'll, you'll see a significant drop in pressure on this motor, hmm. especially if you have it cranked up all the way. Yeah. You're like, oh, what's going on with this thing? And, mm-hmm. you know, like, and once it's done, it, it, it just stops. It, right. There's no like grind down. And I will, I will say, you know, with the, with the new brushless, uh, line that they've come out with and the new HP compact tools, they've introduced smarter batteries Mm -hmm. um, that, you know, they have a button with the indicator light for the charge and they're just, just, they're just a smarter, better battery. Right. This, even though it's a brand new tool, doesn't come with the smart battery. Oh, okay. It comes with, it's just standard two amp hour, what you would expect in like their old tool line uh, to come with. So it's, um, and I noticed a difference between the smart batteries and the standard battery that it came with, the standard battery, even though they're both two amp hour batteries, mm-hmm. didn't last as long. That's interesting. So, and they're, and they're, the, my, just for context, the battery that came with this tool mm-hmm. is newer than my smart batteries from my compact set. Really? Yeah. So it's newer in terms of when it was produced or it's newer technology? Both. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, just... Well, that, that's... That, so to me, this is really interesting because, you know, you used to have the old NICAD batteries, right? Mm-hmm. And those those were the ones that just slowly stopped working. Right. Right? And then eventually it just wouldn't do anything. Exactly. Now, now the, then you get the lithiums, and it's like almost full power until Up it's until, just done. Yeah. Right? But then they came out with – I mean, the, here, here's the thing. A lithium battery isn't – equal to another lithium battery necessarily. No, it depends like, on what it's made of. It, and It yeah. depends on so many different things. Yeah. And like we, we've talked about the Ego line of products before. And so my trimmer, for example, it's a 56 volt battery. Mm-hmm. It's huge. It's a, the footprint of it, it's, it's big, right? Um, one of the cool technologies about it is you can leave it on the charger all the time. Mm. And if it's not being used, it'll drop down to 30% power Mm -hmm. and it will stay there at 30% because at 30%, it will not deteriorate and still be on the charger. Now, if you want it to charge back up, you just take it off, pop it back on, and it charges up again. That's something very smart about the battery. The charger doesn't really do anything. Yeah, it doesn't. It, it doesn't know where the 30% is, but the battery itself does. So these batteries are getting smarter and smarter. So, you know, if you think, oh, man, I've got a lithium battery, it's, it, but, but I guess I'm going to have to buy another lithium battery, it's probably smarter than the old one you had. Uh, yeah. Most yeah. likely. The technology yeah. comes a long way. Yeah, and I, I you know, it was, it was probably the, the tool formerly known as Ryobi's um, <laughs> decision to save some money by putting the older batteries with this most likely um uh, yeah because i'm why not why not yeah i mean yeah. well it's these are the the new backpacks are the same price as the old ones okay so so and so you are getting some significant upgrades with this backpack at the same price okay and the old backpack also came with the same battery okay so so what have, have we already talked about what those upgrades are have you well, already given the, the, the main upgrades um, are the motor. It's okay. a better motor. It's more yeah. powerful motor. Um, the dial on the side, the attenuator on the side that allows you to adjust the pressure. That's a feature it didn't ever have before. Right. Um, and then the battery housing is a massive improvement right. to, to this model. And the tip. The, it's the, easier. It's it's essentially the same design. Okay. It's just a better. I mean, like it, it just works better than the other one. Okay. So, I mean, okay. I, honestly, if you put them side by side, which again, I'll do that in the video that we're putting out. I mean, if you just look at it, you probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Okay. Um, unless you're really paying attention. Um, it, you know, there's a lot of, a, there's several state because it's 
it, I don't even, it's like turning a bottle cap to tighten down like mm-hmm. a two liter Coke. Mm-hmm. It's that kind of swivel that you have on there to adjust the spray cone. Okay. Well, that's very similar to just a regular pump yes. sprayer, yes. right? I mm-hmm. mean, the manual pump it up, pressurize it, the, the knob on the end. Yeah. Unless you're using that. the fan tip in which there's no adjustment. On okay. That. So, that which, makes sense. but it's a fan tip. That's, it's yeah. That's it, what it is. It's either on or off, right? Yeah. Okay. So now, what are some of the things that you don't really like that they've changed? Yeah. So there were two two big ones that stood out to me that I was like, why? Okay. And these were like really dumb changes. Mm-hmm. And so, like one of them, I kind of understand. The other one, I don't understand at all. Okay. Um. And and they may they may even view both of them as being an upgrade. I don't. Okay. Um, so significant change number one is the the top hmm. where you you know pour your chemicals where you pour your water into the tank. The lid. Actually, let me back up a second. Okay. There was one other improvement to the entire system that was a massive improvement. And before I do that, I gotta say we spent very little time bantering at the beginning of this yeah. episode. Yeah, we did. And my our, our buddy Jordan is gonna be upset with us about this because mm-hmm. I just had dinner with him the other night and he's he's gonna geek out already that we're talking about him. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jordan, what's up, dude? That's right. So and he was telling me that his wife was telling him that she doesn't listen to podcasts because they always banter about stupid stuff at the beginning. Oh, and he was like, that's my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> well, we will banter at the end. We'll I, okay. I do have something I want to mention. Okay. okay. Good. Good. So yeah. hang it, hang in there, Jordan. Yeah. So anyway, the other the other big upgrade to this system, and I I think this may have been the thing that actually triggered a whole redesign, was in the old one. It had a pickup tube on the inside for the pump. Okay. So there's. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. In in most sprayers, there's going to be a pickup tube with a filter, mm. right? That you know that basically draws the material out of the tank into whatever that's creating the pressure that then pushes it out through the line. Okay, right. This new one has no tube. Oh, it has a built-in plastic riser inside the tank that has a, a metal filter on it. Oh, it's metal. Yeah. Even better. Yeah. And so it's like a wire mesh filter and it's much bigger as a pickup, which I think is also why they needed a bigger motor mm. for this thing. Um, so, so it, it has the ability to push more out at one time because it's again with the, the what do you call it? Uh, the attenuator attenuator that, well, I, yeah. I, that, that may actually not be the right term. Okay. <laughs> The, I know that to be a guitar term. Oh, <laughs> well, for the knob. Yeah. Um, but I, really, I mean, like it works either way. I'm mean, an attenuator. Is just something that you turn. It's an adjustment. Yeah. Right. And so, so basically, it's able to draw more into the line that it then pressurizes and pushes out through the line. Well, yeah. And I, but I don't think that's why they did it. Okay. I think the reason that they did it is on the previous model, they were actually having some issues with that tube crimping. Oh, I can um, see that based off the temperature and mm-hmm. some other issues that were happening. And and so people were complaining about it. OK, and it was really like the thing that people complained the most about it. OK, and, and we actually had the issue. We were I mean, like we had to take it apart and replace the tube and it was really annoying. Mm. Um, so this fixes that. OK, which is a huge, huge improvement should be. I mean, like, granted, we, we, we've had it two weeks. So right. we'll, we'll see over time what happens. Um, and, you know. I need to investigate as to whether or not you can replace that Hmm. Uh, because those metal filters, while they're great, can get clogged up over time. Sure. Um, So anyway, now back to the things that I liked better about the old one. Yeah. Why would you change this tool formerly known as Ryobi? Um, So (laughs) the, the top lid is significantly smaller on the new one. Okay. So the problem with that. Is the opening right. is significantly smaller. Yes. Now, why is that a problem? It, it's a problem because it creates more of an opportunity for splashback. Oh. And anytime you're dealing with chemicals, you want to reduce the amount of splashback and the potential for splashback. And it also seems like it's it's shallower than mm-hmm. it was before. So smaller and shallower was not good. Right. The reason I think they did it is because they were trying to reduce the footprint of the backpack. 
Um, okay. Because th- the lid on this one is about as wide as the actual unit itself. So they only had so much real estate to work with. That that may actually makes a lot of sense why they would do that. Yes. But again, they they sacrificed something yeah. with that. Right. So the other thing is actually the shoulder harness. Mm. This is the most goofy shoulder harness I've ever seen in my life. And I don't even really know how to describe it. I mean, because you were, you were showing it to me. Yeah. And it's because of the adjustment. It's too much. Yeah. <laughs> if you could have too much adjustment, they succeeded. Yes. Yeah. And like, I, there's absolutely zero. I mean, like, unless we're just like dealing with like morbidly obese people <laughs> that need to somehow use an electric backpack, I don't know why it needs all these adjustments to let it like five feet out away from your back. I mean, like, it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. So, so the best way that I can describe this, uh, since you said you don't really know how to describe it. So at at the top where your shoulder is, and then down around where your waist is, right? Mm-hmm. That's kind of where the the straps meet. Mm-hmm. There's two adjustments at the, your shoulder and two adjustments at your waist yes. on both straps, going opposite directions. Yeah, they they don't they don't really. It, you pull one direction for one and one direction for the other. And, yeah. and, and so it, l- let me put it this way. So I've done a significant amount of backpacking uh-huh. in my life through the wilderness, right? So some... It would be weird if you did it through yeah. a city. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I guess <laughs> some people do. We, we have names for them. Um, but they, they a lot of them will have an adjustment up on your shoulder to either pull that close to you and more like hug your right your back a little bit more or let it go if you you know you need a little more relief there. The the difference with this is the nothing on this device is flexible. Mm-hmm. It's all rigid. Right. So you can't really hug your back with it by adjusting it more. Right. You know? So it's it's just Which awkward. Part two of this is on the old model, it actually had a mesh back. Oh, well, that sounds fantastic. It was fantastic. <laughs> they completely took they that away. They just got rid of it. I mean, huh. it was it was, and, and all of my guys that use it, I guarantee you now they're going to be fighting over the old one. Yeah. Not because the old one performs better, but because it's way more comfortable. Yeah, and, and the amount of hours that you're using that on a daily basis in your profession. Yeah. It It makes a huge comfort is important. Yeah. I mean, like if you're just a weekend warrior, I mean, like this, this is going to be a fantastic backpack for you. It really is. I'm like, you're going to wear it for like 30 minutes. You're going to be spraying like probably some herbicides or, you know, some some sort of fertilizer or something through it. Maybe a pesticide. I don't know. Um, It's, it's a multi-use sprayer. Um, But, you know, if, if you're only using it for that amount of time, no big deal. But like that other one was way comfy. Yeah. Um, and it just, it just kind of hugged your, like what you're talking about, hugged your back, but it didn't have 50 adjustments, <laughs> you know, in case you're shaped like a fiddler crab or something. I don't know. Like, it's just weird. And, and so, yeah, the, the, the old one was just super comfy. That mesh went all the way down through your lower back. It kept the, the cold plastic up off of you mm-hmm. and really just kind of hugged you. And then it just had two cinches underneath your shoulders. To, you know, make it nice and tight. Mm. This one, man, it took me, it probably took me 10, 15, 20 minutes to like, okay, maybe I've, if I put, yeah, you just didn't know which way. <laughs> so it was very confusing. Awkward. And it's got a belly band on mm. it as well. That's like, it's like what a middle schooler's Jansport would have on it. I mean, like, <laughs> it's like no one uses it. It's like the little dangly things that yeah. no one ever puts. Right. You know. Do you know what I'm talking about? No, I absolutely know because, like, um, on my like um, on real on backpacks, ba- yeah. they, it has like a yeah. padded band. Sure, this is just like v- vinyl stri- strips. Okay, that, um, yeah, I've got so on choke my, your pancreas <laughs> on my uh, my backpack blower. Mm-hmm. It it's got a belt right. on it as yeah. well, and it, it's really helpful because I mean you, you've got so you got. The, the weight of the device itself, mm-hmm. which is not super heavy, but then you've got four gallons 
Mm-hmm. So at what it, roughly eight pounds per gallon, <laughs> roughly probably. Yeah. Yeah. So sure, I mean, why not? I don't, you know, I, <laughs> you're you're 35 pounds probably. I've never stepped on it. the scale while I'm holding it, so <laughs> I advise you not to. <laughs> um, but roughly, I mean, if it's full, potentially, you know, 35 pounds or so, mm-hmm. that's pretty heavy on your back. So having something around your your waist to take that off your shoulders is good. But you're saying that the the band is not very good. Why it's I don't. I mean, like, other than if you're just trying to like stabilize it, maybe. Yeah. But it's like it's very thin. Yeah. So it's like it, the best it might do is pinch you. <laughs> that, that does not sound fantastic. No, so just don't use it. <laughs> so it's just dangling cords. Yeah. And more money that they wasted on it. I yeah. But it looks to me like the one on the old one was pretty insignificant as well. The shoulder straps? No, no, no. The waist band. Oh yeah, it's the same. Yeah, it's and, and it's like a. It looks like a little one inch. Well, band. It, well, I will say this on the the shoulders themselves. Yeah, have significant more padding. Okay. Than the previous model. So, so the actual straps have mesh in this. Oh yeah. In this one, where the other ones didn't. The other ones did. Okay. These are just thicker. Okay. And more substantial. Okay. So that's that's, that's a little more comfortable. That 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 part has been improved, but like I lost the part that I really liked, which was the back. Okay. Um. And and all my guys that use it too. I mean, like that's their favorite part. Huh. So okay. Oh, uh, that and not having to pump. Sure. <laughs> that that's a huge advantage. Oh, yeah. To this over it, really anything else. Yeah. So so it the, the the improvements that they made are great. Yeah. They I mean they really are. Um and and so like some some questions that. Uh, some of the groups that we're a part of that follow these kinds of things were asking questions like, "What's the, what's the PSI on it, and what's the bucket test on it?" So we're, I'm going to do all those kinds of things, okay? Um, and 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 get to the get to the bottom of those specific answers because it, it doesn't list that information on the box. I didn't read through the entire manual. Um, that information might be in there. So anyway, I'll I'll, I'll go through all that in the YouTube video, okay? Um, that we're going to come out with. But I mean, like, right off, just plain Jane. It's a better sprayer. Yeah. I mean, at, at the fundamental level, it is a better sprayer. So at the end of the day, if we're breaking it all down, pros, cons, now conclusion. Yeah. It's worth buying the the upgrade, especially since it's the same price. I mean, it's a, yeah. yeah. I mean, the, the improvements far outweigh the things that you wish they didn't change from, from a practical perspective. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, like just from just from performance. Sure. It's, it's a better sprayer. Yeah. So your comfort is, you know, changed. Be a man. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, and I, and I think that's, that, that's part of it. I mean, it, it is interesting that they would, that they make these improvements. Like I, I've got a stapler, it's a stapler and um, finishing nail combo mm-hmm. that they had a long time. It's blue, okay? okay yeah. <laughs> it's, it's really old. Um, but I was about to go buy one, and I got there, and the guy at Home Depot was like, yeah, they discontinued that last week. And I was like, why? He said, well, it wasn't working well. A lot of people had it jamming, and it, was just, it just wasn't working well. I was like, well... Well, crap! I kind of wanted one. Mm-hmm. He's like, yeah, I, a lot of people really liked them because they were they were nice. Yeah. Well, about six months later, they were on the shelf again, mm-hmm. and I saw the very same associate, and I was like, hey, I thought you said these weren't working. You do you remember me? He was like, he was like, yeah. I, they updated it, came back out with a new one. They fixed the problem. Yeah. And so, you know, I, I appreciate that yeah. about a company. They'll take something offline, fix it, put it back online, and here we go. Absolutely. Yeah. So. So, okay. Well, I, that's, I guess that's the review. That's it. So, so are you ready? I, I told you before the show I had, a, I had a, like a surprise for you. It, you did. I thought it was the one-star review. <laughs> well, that, that is a fun surprise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So you've got another fun surprise. I, I do. So okay. like I, I was talking with a former guest like not 30 minutes before I saw you. Okay. About you. Oh. Yeah. 
So Uh-oh. I was I was talking with with Brandy Burke. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah, I, I actually, it's a funny story, uh, Brandy. If you're listening, I actually need to call you. So that's what I told her. Yeah. Oh, you did. I did. You were telling her. <laughs> you told her the big secret, I Brandy. Did. This is this needs to be kept under wraps a little bit. <laughs> but here we are putting it on, you know, national podcast. That's right. Well, no, I'm yeah. not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna share all your business. Okay. So, but I told her I was like, hey, Kevin. Kevin might be reaching out to you. Yeah. That's so, funny. But do you know what she's doing now? Uh, well, I know with her husband. Yeah. Yeah. They're building houses. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And now I I mean, she's still got her license and she's still working in real estate, right? And that hasn't changed. No, 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 no. Yeah. And he's still doing plumbing. Yeah. He's still doing plumbing. Um, and by the way, they, he does fantastic work. Well, they've both been Um, on the show. Yeah. Of course they do fantastic work. Of course. That's why we brought them on the show. (laughs) But yeah, they've got a new business where they're building house. They they built the house that they're living in. Yeah. And now they're building other people's houses. Well, I mean, that in and of itself should be a testament, right? I mean, like, hey, we we built our own house and it was such a great experience. We decided to start doing it for other people. They (laughs) did it together. (laughs) And they're still married. (laughs) They're still married and they still want to continue to build houses together. Yeah. So, so yeah, they're, yeah. Uh, they're, they're finishing one up right now. Okay. So I was awesome. like, Kevin might be calling. Yeah. I, I definitely need to call. It's funny. <laughs> I was actually thinking just today, I need to call her and I, I got a little bit busy. So, yeah. There so there you go. you go. Okay. Interesting. She, she's primed. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Well, so do you want to hear about the, the thing that I wanted to banter about today? No. Okay. No, we, right, can't. Guys, we can talk about been, it. Oh, okay. Uh, so this happened just – I alluded to this a couple of episodes ago, but it was it was like two days before Christmas. Uh-huh. And I've got a leak detector underneath my kitchen sink, and, and it's put there because I've got a reverse osmosis under there. So right. uh, filtered water, all that kind of great stuff. And – my it tripped, so it started beeping. Okay. So I'm like, oh, great. And so I look under there, and I'm like, I don't even see any water, but mm-hmm. I feel down there, and it's a little damp. And I'm like, how is this damp? So I, I kind of visually looked and inspected a little bit. I couldn't really see anything going on, um, but sure enough, I was getting a leak. And so, and it's two days before Christmas. And I was like, all right. Which is exactly we, when something's going to break in your house. I'm 100%. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it, the most inconvenient, most expensive time <laughs> to get something fixed, right? So I tell my wife, tell my kids, look, whatever you do, use the left side of the sink. Mm-hmm. Because something in the right side of the sink is is not working. Well, I, I leave after Christmas. I'm gone for like four or five days. I come back, and of course, it's still leaking. Mm. But it hasn't been leaking because there's not. We haven't been using it. So I start looking, and sure enough, the the strainer. So the strainer is the actual what most people would consider the drain, right? Right. The the strainer is a piece of junk. <laughs> And it's plastic. Oh no! Have you have you ever seen a plastic strainer? Like it's it's like like chrome it, coated, right? Plastic. I've seen plastic ones like in in laundry utility sinks. Yeah. And okay. Like, yeah. Yeah. So it, I, I assume that this thing came with the, the sink. And uh-huh. I'm like, let's throw the most piece of junk thing we can throw in here, and they'll probably use it, you know? Yeah. Or they'll upgrade to another $10 one and put a good one in, right? Well, so I assume that we put a trash can underneath our sink, like normal people do, and I assume at some point it got pushed back a little bit far, and that the downpipe, it, it broke, Mm-hmm. This strainer. So there's a, like this little crack about a third of the way around that strainer. And so anytime you, anytime you put water in there, there's a likelihood that that crack, water leaks out the crack, right? So I'm like, okay, no big deal. Replace it, right? Mm-hmm. It's easy to replace. 
it's not easy to replace <laughs> when it's plastic because I, so I get under there and I've got like a strap wrench, mm-hmm. which should do the job. So I get under there, put that strap wrench around because there's a, there's a big lock nut on there that holds it all together. I'm just going to loosen that thing. And what happens? The whole strainer turns. Jeez. So I can't. I can't, can't get it, it out. I can't get it out, right? And so um, I'm trying to figure out what is wh- what can I do here? How am I going to possibly get this thing off? Um, and there's like these little there's like little ribs around this nut, and I'm like, I just don't know what I'm going to do. I, I try to get some large pliers, all that kind of stuff. Nothing fits. I mean, it's a pretty large nut that's on there, right? And so I'm like, I'm just frustrated. I'm like, how am I going to get this thing off? I can't figure out how I'm going to get this off. So I go to bed. Mm-hmm. Next morning, I wake up. I'm looking at YouTube, um, looking at Facebook. And on Facebook, I'm a part of a, uh, a group that's kind of a DIY home beautification yeah. type Facebook group. I think you're a member of it as well. And... Lo and behold, someone asks a question and says, I can't get this dadgum lock nut off of the strainer. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? And I'm mm. like, it's like Providence. <laughs> like, how would, how would anybody know I'm dealing with the same thing? And someone puts up, oh, just go buy the tool. Uh-huh. There's a tool for that. <laughs> there, there's a tool for that. <laughs> and like, there's this, it's a, it, this, tool that like perfectly fits into the ribs on that nut Mm -hmm. and you can just take it right off nice yeah it was like seven or eight bucks at at home no it's nothing so i go buy it Mm -hmm. i'm like all right no big deal hey babe i'm gonna fix this do whatever you want to i'm gonna be a man real quick take care (laughs) of this and i get in there and that (laughs) i put it on there turn it and (laughs) The piece of plastic just rips. Oh, it like snaps. It just yeah, well, it just it it just strips. It strips oh, it out. Strips it out. Okay. Yeah. So uh, this plastic is the worst nightmare ever. <laughs> and so I literally go get my chisel and I chisel the thing off. Nice. With a hammer. You're not and gonna be taken down by a polymer. No. <laughs> no. Plastic, you're no match for me. <laughs> so I take it off, install the new strainer, no big deal. It works perfect now. Here's the moral of the story. Don't ever put a plastic strainer on your sink. That's a good call. Ever. If it comes with it, it's it's ten bucks for a metal strainer. Mm-hmm. Go buy it. How much is the plastic one? The, I, I I don't know. It must have come with it. Yeah. I looked. They don't even sell a plastic one at Home Depot. I'm just wondering so, if it, if, it, if there's any advantage. Like, would it would it work better like in an off grid cabin or something like that? Well, I don't know. One of the things I am curious about. So. Like if you had a plastic you, sink. Yeah, if you had a plastic sink, like specifically like a laundry room sink, right? Right. Um, I wonder if a metal one could potentially crack the plastic. Yeah. And and so you use a plastic one, maybe there's less potential for that. But why they would put it in a metal sink? In a metal sink, I have no clue. Poor decision. But and and here's the other thing. So um, my, my wife was like, hey. If you break the sink, I can get a new one, right? Yeah. I'm like, well, I guess we would have to. She was like, I, is it okay if I just kind of secretly hope that you break the sink? Because she wants a new sink. <laughs> and I was like, I, please don't do that. <laughs> like, We do not need to deal with that right now. But um, so I put the new one in, and it turns out she just hated the other one because it was like like the chrome plating was like flaking off, and oh. she, she could never clean it. Oh, so it yeah. always looked dirty. And so – I put the new one in. She was like, this looks like a whole new sink. I'm like, yeah, that's Thank what I goodness. do. That's what I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm secretly going, I I must have prayed harder than you prayed <laughs> <laughs> about this. So, Or Jesus yeah. just loves you more. I mean, that, 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 it, it, highly possible that's the case. But 
If I've you met your my, wife. There's yeah. no way that's the case. <laughs> if you knew my wife, that's not the case. No matter what. Yeah. No. I don't you, want to dash your hopes here, but <laughs> no, Jesus loves her more. Yeah. There's no doubt. No doubt. So. But anyway, so there's my there's my story. Cool. Yeah. Chisel wins. Chisel wins. Every time. Or, well, against plastic it does. Yeah. So I'd, I'd put my money on the chisel. Yeah, it worked. Yeah. I, I mean, I literally, it, it it took me a week to figure out what I was going to do. <laughs> and then I should have used the chisel the whole time. The whole time. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't go for it first. Moral of the but, story, anytime you can revert to just, you know, barbaric violence, do it. Do it. It's worth it. Yeah. Works every time. Yeah. Except, you know, when invading the Capitol or... <laughs> Don't do that. (laughs) Don't do that. Even if someone tells you. And don't take a chisel in there either. (laughs) Good point. Our logic is breaking down quick, Kev. Yeah, it is. We need to end this while we're ahead, if we are ahead. We're never ahead. No, we're never ahead. All right. Anything else? No, man. I think that's it. Thank you guys for downloading today's episode. And if you are live on Facebook, thanks for watching us. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Or Twitch. Uh, Or Twitch. Don't, don't, Don't. I mean, like, there, there's lots of people over there. I don't know if I they're guess. listening, but I guess. Yeah, they could be. Yeah. <laughs> and Or on YouTube, because this is going to go up on YouTube later. But, yeah, we're here every single Tuesday. Woo-hoo. So thanks for downloading. If you have not already subscribed, leave us, leave us a rating and review on Apple Podcasts. That would be fantastic. Thanks for being with us. Until next time, we'll see you later. See you.